Well, hi guys. Um, today's subject or topic on NBC is about blood pressure and which blood pressure reading is more important. Systolic, which is the top number, or the diastolic, the bottom number. Well, all I can say is hello to you, my blood pressure friends. In this video by NBC, I'm going to talk about systolic, the top number, and diastolic, the bottom number, of your blood pressure reading. We're going to look at uh, which of the two numbers is more important. Well, there's always two numbers on your blood pressure reading. Once again, the upper number, or the first reading, is the systolic blood pressure. This is the pressure created when your heart pumps blood into vessels. Just to repeat, the lower number is the diastolic blood pressure. This is a baseline pressure when your heart is at rest. And it's important to know how to react when either number is out of range. So let's first talk about what doctors historically thought about blood pressure readings. Doctors had earlier considered the bottom number diastolic blood pressure to be more important and the general view was that the systolic uh, blood pressure normally increases with age. The upper number was traditionally not a concern unless it was extremely out of range. However, the diastolic blood pressure was treated with medication even when it was slightly off. The understanding was that the baseline pressures, when the heart is at rest, determine the overall health of the heart. But several up-to-date and recent studies have different conclusions. First, let's look at the risk of having high systolic blood pressure. Having a high uh, systolic blood pressure can be caused by artery stiffness or an overactive thyroid or even diabetes. Occasionally it can be caused by heart valve problems and older people are at higher risk of having a high systolic blood pressure number. In fact, high systolic blood pressure is the most common form of high blood pressure in people older than 65. And if you're over 50 and you have a high systolic number, you are at a greater risk of having a, well, I say a greater risk, of having serious cardiovascular problems such as having a heart attack, bleeding, a stroke, or a severe pain in the chest, which is called angina. Well, high systolic blood pressure can even result in chronic kidney disease. These are potentially very serious medical conditions. Well, now let's look at the risk of having a high diastolic blood pressure, which is a bottom number. Having an elevated uh, pressure could weaken the main artery of your body. This artery is known as the aorta. It runs centrally from your heart through your abdomen and then it branches out as separate arteries into the legs. The weakened portion of the aorta in the abdominal area could turn into a bulge. In this the bulge is called or caused by the overstretching of the aorta in the belly region. Continuously high diastolic pressure can make a bulge rupture and this results in serious internal bleeding that could be fatal. Could be fatal. The medical term for this life-threatening condition is abdominal aortic aneurysm. So which is a more important now they reckon both numbers are equally important, and this is evident now from the specific risk associated with each number. If your uh, systolic blood pressure is leaning its eye, it's not safe to ignore it. The same goes with your diastolic uh, blood reading, both should be taken seriously. And just because you're taking blood pressure medication doesn't necessarily mean that you're out of the woods. Some studies compared a group of people with no history of high blood pressure with a group of people who were controlling their blood pressure with blood pressure medications. 
Well, these studies found that the pupils controlling their blood pressure with medications still had a higher risk of heart disease than those who had no history of high blood pressure. The studies found that a 30-year-old with high blood pressure has a 63% lifetime risk of developing heart disease compared with 46% for a person with normal blood pressure. Well, studies do demonstrate that even though you're taking medication, you still have a high risk of heart problems. The key is to continue to monitor, monitor both your numbers regularly and remember eating healthy. Exercising and constantly tracking both your diastolic and systolic blood pressure numbers is important to maintain a healthy heart. Well, my friends, if you suffer from high blood pressure, like me, why not click on the subscribe button and the bell icon so you can keep up to date with my healthy blood pressure videos. Once again, thanks for watching NBC. My name is Neil Branson. Have a happy and healthy day. But more importantly, remember my videos are a guide only. And should you have any concerns or worries, please, please contact your doctor or qualified practitioner. Thanks. Thank you for watching one of our videos. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you would like to see more videos, hit the subscribe button. And if you have something to say, please leave a comment. Thank you once again. From your NBC team. Hashtag NBC Media.